morning that began like any other turned tragic today when an employee opened fire on his supervisor and fellow co-workers. Students, parents, teachers are asking why today after a bloody rampage plunged this campus into tragedy. Details are just coming in, but we're being told that a heavily armed gunman opened fire this evening at the mall food court behind me. There's no official word on any casualties yet, but one eyewitness reported seeing at least six people shot. Active shooter, a gunman or gunmen killing or attempting to kill people in a confined populated area. You gotta get some sleep. You're looking like a vampire. <sighs> you sleep. You ain't got no babies at home keeping you up. What the hell? Ah, oh, Sam again. We've tried. I'm sorry. We're gonna have to let you go. Active shooter killings are a tragic, unpredictable reality, and one that's becoming more common. Since 2006, the U.S. has averaged an active shooter event with four or more deaths every 2.9 months. Even though the number of active shooter events has been increasing, your odds of being involved in one are still very slim. But just like fire drills and earthquake preparedness, making a plan in advance can make all the difference. If you do find yourself in the middle of a senseless attack, the why doesn't matter. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hang on, something's happening. What matters is surviving. On average, 20 mass shootings take place in the U.S. every year. Killers usually choose their victims at random. They look for easy targets. So the harder you are to see or to hit, the safer you are. When an attack starts, if you can find a way out of the location, do so. Click on the forward arrow to continue.